Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Neardrone 2016 talking right now with Jeff Simon from Venom. That's right. So we were looking at some of the new things you've got here and I was playing with this and I like it a lot. So what makes this different than most battery packs? But one of the things that really separates us from the pack, a lot of companies have started using Velcro for the sealing on their bags. The thing that makes that bad is that Velcro is not fireproof, so it'll end up catching fire and it'll end up causing flames that, that rise up above the bag. We use the metal snaps that allows for the bag to stay closed. Should there be an event that happens, it's going to keep it contained as best as possible and you're not going to have any extra fire. Well, awesome. Other things you've got new right now is you've got these little battery packs here. We've got a four pack, it looks like. So we brought out a four pack of these 180 milliamp single cell batteries, really in response to the Tiny Whoop revolution. Uh, these are so much fun. You know, it's a standard uh, blade inductrix that you're putting an FPV camera on, and they're really everywhere. And what we found was that our 150 milliamp battery just wasn't quite enough, and we found that the sweet spot was 180. There were some 200s out there, but it seemed like those added a little bit of extra weight. Uh, this is the right place to be. We've got them in two packs and four packs. Yeah, but I go through these things a lot, so that's great. <laughs> And what is this little one here? So this, this has a really very interesting plug on it. So this is for the Sensifly EB. So it's a generally an agriculture or industrial drone. And the batteries we found, they had a real need for an affordable solution that worked just as good as the OEM. And so that's what we've brought to the market. This is a sub $100 battery where they normally go for over 200. Oh, wow. That's a that's expensive. It is. Okay. This looks familiar. It's the Typhoon Q500 battery. What we've done is we've actually squeezed a few extra milliamp in this one. It's actually a 7100. I believe the stock is a 6400. So we're getting a little bit of extra flight time out of these. And then to go along with it, we've actually brought out our brand new Venom power station for the Q500 and 4K. Uh, so this allows for two batteries to be put in. It's 100 watts per channel. So it allows you to do six amp charge on both sides. Uh, so you can charge two batteries in about an hour. Awesome, this just slides on there and you're good Yeah, to go. it just that's... literally, you put it in, you slide it in, it <laughs> snaps on, it's just perfect. That's convenient. And last but not least, what is this behemoth here? So this that's is our new be... flagship charger that we've brought out to the market. This is our Pro Quad charger. It's 100 watts per channel, four separate channels. On the back, there's actually two 2.1 amp USB ports on the back. It's both AC and DC compatible, so you can take it out to the field and use it. This is gonna retail, or actually is available now for $229.99. Uh, just a, a powerful uh, package in a very compact form. And again, we've stuck with the vertical style of charger, mm -hmm. so it really takes up a minimal amount of space on your desktop. Awesome. Well, thank you for talking to us today. Oh, it was uh, my pleasure. Well, this is uh, Roswell Fight Test Crew at uh, Neardor 2016, signing off. <laughs>